Hello friends, in this video we are going to be find a solution for expected condition failed error. So what I done? So after launching this Amazon.in site, I am going to be read this header menus. This what more than one value. For this one, this is the XPath. This XPath I stored under list of web element facad. It will be written more than one value. I am looping those value. It will be print all those menu items. Okay. So after executing this program, what will happen? It was printing all the value, but still I am getting the final status as test failed one. So why I am getting this error? How I can fix? I will show you. Okay. First, I am going to be execute this program. Let us check. Started launching the browsers, it is the URL reading the values. Okay, I am opening the console. See, the value has printed successfully, but the final one, what is the status? Test failed one. So, can you please read this last second line? Expected condition failed waiting for this X path and it was waiting for up to 5 seconds 100 milliseconds but still it getting failed so what is the issue how I can fix if you are looping or if you are iterating any more than one value before printing this value you should check whether that element has been displayed or not or that value is displayed or not you have to check then you can print that value in that case it will be checking for each and every value after only going to be print in that case we can avoid this issue let us show you if condition li dot get i dot is displayed i'm going to be check the condition so if it is displayed then come to print statement okay so now i'm going to be execute the same statement sorry same program let us check what is the output we are getting reading the values see it will be printed all the values i'm getting test passed one so why do we implement thread dot slip? Okay, I can try that one also. I have to command this one. Okay, I'm going to be put thread dot slip thousand milliseconds. Okay. So I'm going to be store under try catchy one. Let's see whether the same issue I'm getting or not, or it is passed. Let us check. Run us. Because if you are using thread dot slip, it will be delay the execution time. That's not checking whether the element or value has present or not. It won't check. It only delay the execution. So in that case, there is no use for thread dot slip. So only we need to check that element has been displayed or not. We have to verify that one. Then you can print that statement. In that case only, we can avoid this issue. Got it? See, still we are getting test failed one. Okay. So, now I am going to be put control Z. Again, finally I am going to be execute this program. Finally, it was passed. Okay. So, I hope you can understand how we can fix that issue.